Hi there and thanks for tuning in. We are Sakshi DJ and Little Pixie the Wonder Bunnies. We make travel and vegetarian food vlogs from around the world. In the last two videos, we shared things to do and foodie adventures from Amsterdam. And in this one, we'll talk about how we explored more of the Netherlands, like the Dutch countryside, the historic town of Haarlem, and the world-famous tulip fields and gardens. One of the days while we were still in Amsterdam, we headed out early in the morning for a day trip to explore the Dutch countryside. For this, we booked a private tour with Safar Limousine Service. Our first stop for the day was at Zandzeshans. This is a small village famous for its well-preserved windmills, traditional houses and crafts such as clog making and cheese making. To get here from Amsterdam, you can also take the public transport or you may go for a guided tour as an alternative. The entry to the village is free and you can take a walk through it and admire the iconic green wooden houses with their cute backyards, farms and farm animals, bridges and streams with ducks swimming around. If you're with kids, chances are that they'll have a great time here. Zanze Shans is renowned for its collection of historic windmills. You can explore these windmills, learn about their operations and even go inside some of them to see the machinery and mechanisms up close for a small fee of 5 euros. Did you know the concept of wind-driven mills originated in the Middle East? From there it spread to various parts of the world including Europe. In the Netherlands, windmills played a significant role in reclaiming land from the sea and powering various industries such as milling grain and pressing oil. While windmills are not native to the Netherlands, the country's expertise in developing and utilizing this technology made it synonymous with windmills and they have become an iconic symbol of Dutch heritage and innovation. In addition, Zanze Shans has a number of museums and workshops where you can learn about traditional Dutch crafts and industries. The clog workshop for example, where you get to learn about the history and art of making clogs and you can even buy a pair as a souvenir to take back home. Or the cheese experience where you can learn about making cheese, taste different cheeses and purchase what you like. There's also a lovely restaurant in case you'd like to get coffee or something to eat in the beautiful setting. After this, we drove around the lovely Dutch countryside, getting glimpses of the cottages, the farms and fields, occasionally coming across small patches of tulip fields as well. Then, we made a pit stop at a tiny town called Edom, where we took a short walk, went into a cheese store and randomly tasted some dips, sauces and cheeses. We really liked certain dips here, especially the honey mustard which we thought would be great on toast and picked up a pack to bring back with us. Next was a pit stop at a small fishing town called Wollendam, where we again walked around and went up to the coastline to get a peek of the waterfront. Our last stop on the tour was at the Henry Willig Cheese Farm where we got a quick lesson in cheese making and types of cheese and then we went into the store to try even more cheese. Here we bought two that we really liked to bring back home with us. By now it was evening and time to head back to our hotel in Amsterdam. We loved this countryside tour and wish we could have spent even more time here. The next morning, we packed our bags and headed out to the Amsterdam Central Station to catch a train ride to the small town of Haarlem. It's only a 20-minute ride and no advance ticket booking is needed. You can simply check the train schedule and enter using a contactless card or wallet like Apple Pay. And the journey costs only 5 euros per person. Harlem is known for cultural attractions, a charming atmosphere and a vibrant shopping scene. Many people choose to do a day trip to Harlem, but we decided to stay here a couple of nights as it's less crowded and more relaxed compared to Amsterdam. Okay. So we have left from Amsterdam and now we are in a beautiful laid-back town of Harlem. 
and now we are here sitting in the city square feels like we've arrived on a movie set with uh, so many different historical buildings a church in the background and we are just waiting to get our lunch in this nice al fresco environment on a beautiful sunny day so we have been really lucky with the weather and it's another beautiful day and we are making the most of it and here we are staying in a cute little hotel which is walking distance from the train station and the market and the square it's called hotel lion dior and we'll give you a room tour in a bit As the weather was lovely that evening, we decided to go for a canal cruise. Same like in Amsterdam, we didn't make any advance booking. We just showed up and bought tickets on the spot. And same as before, we opted to go on an open boat to enjoy the sunny day. We went with Smith Canal Cruises and it was a 50-minute cruise for about 19 euros per adult. It was a very pleasant ride with pretty views and one that took you around the town. with an audio guide pointing out places of historical significance canal cruises in the netherlands are a great way to appreciate its charm and beauty and gives you a chance to admire its cities and towns from an altogether different perspective All right so after that lovely lunch and a nice uh, canal cruise uh, in the sunny weather we are back to the hotel room and it's now time to give you a room tour Right so we start here which is the entrance so here's the bathroom and then here are your clothes hangers and then you have two dressers and the good thing is that one of them comes with a safe uh then what we have booked is a quadruple room family room which has uh, four beds so one of them will obviously become pixie's bed and the other one will be our bed so yeah we'll be able to sleep comfortably thankfully and then there is a work bench there is a tv over here tea and coffee and then there this is a small fridge and another cool feature that we didn't know about is this nice balcony slash terrace so it's rather large and lots of space here to hang out sit in the sun and for pixie to roam about and now let's take a quick look into the bathroom so nice bathroom they have a bathtub here wash area with all the amenities and toiletries and this is also a shower area yeah so that's about it Harlem also offers a diverse range of shopping opportunities including clothing, shoes and accessories. The city is known for its charming streets lined with boutique shops, specialty stores and well-known brands. The area around the Central Market Square is a good place to start your shopping exploration here. Whether you're looking for trendy finds or vintage treasures, Harlem has a variety of shopping options to cater to different styles. We also had a great time at the Saturday market in Harlem which takes place in the central square in the city center. It is held from early morning until late afternoon typically starting around 9 a.m. The market offers a variety of products including fresh produce, flowers, clothing, accessories, home goods and more. The market is an enjoyable way to immerse yourself in the local culture, taste regional products and find unique items to take home. We of course enjoyed all the street food here such as the warm and gooey chocolate laden stroop waffle or the delicious pizza slices prepared in a wood fired oven right in front of you alongside refreshing fruit juice that was heavenly on a warm day under the sun In this next section let us share where and how we explored the world famous tulips in the Netherlands Did you know tulips originated in the Ottoman Empire and were introduced to Europe in the 16th century? While tulips are not native to the Netherlands, the country's expertise in tulip cultivation has made it synonymous with tulips. The tulip season in the Netherlands typically begins in late March and lasts until mid-May 
and the peak bloom period usually falls in mid April although the exact timing can vary depending on weather conditions we visited in early may so we missed the peak bloom phase but we were still able to see and admire a lot of the colorful and vibrant gardens and fields on a sunny morning we headed to the kukanav gardens located in lise town This admittedly is a very touristy way of seeing the tulips but it boasts 7 million flowers and 800 varieties of tulips. We traveled to the garden from Harlem and as we wanted to get there early to beat the crowds we took an Uber ride to get to it. However, public transport options are also available from both Amsterdam and Harlem. The entry ticket is about 20 euros per adult and it's wise to book online in advance. The garden is usually open to the public from late March to mid May. Guggenhof offered a stunning display of tulips with lots of opportunities to take photos. You can also take a canal cruise over here which seemed like a wonderful activity in that rustic setting. Then there's food and drinks available in the many food trucks and stalls dotted around the park and benches and tables laid out for you to relax and get a bite. There's also a small farm with cute goats and sheep mucking about. and a lovely children's park with swings and rides for toddlers as well as young kids as you can tell there's plenty to do here and it's a place where both adults and kids can have a great time after we were done in the garden we headed towards the bicycle rental located just outside the main entrance to the garden Surrounding the Kuggen of Gardens you will find picturesque bike trails that allow you to explore the stunning tulip fields and the scenic countryside and we wanted to explore some of it. We rented two bicycles for 3 hours and it cost us 11 euros per cycle plus 3 euros additional for a child seat. The cycle paths are very well marked and you can follow one or more of the bike trails from a map that the bike rental provides. Sooner than we expected the tulip fields started to appear and we couldn't help but make several pit stops to take lots of pictures note that these fields are private property and shouldn't be trespassed unless you take permission from the farmers we were lucky enough to get to enter one of the many fields and were able to take some lovely pictures among the vibrant flowers of many different colors We loved cycling around the Dutch countryside spotting fields and farms and by the end of it we wished we had more time at hand to explore more of this area on bicycles. Hey hey so today is our last day in the Netherlands today and we are of course a little bummed about it but we wanted to spend the day in the countryside and see more tulips uh, if possible. We actually wanted to cycle around again but the weather prediction is not so great. It's supposed to get cloudy and rainy in the afternoon. So we weren't sure if cycling was a good idea with Pixie. So instead, we took a train to a little town called Hillegom. Um and at the moment we are walking towards uh the Tulip Barn experience which is a paid experience to take pictures and walk amongst tulip fields. and uh, walking uh, from the station to this experience is actually a pleasure because there are cute little houses with their front yards and little animals mucking around yeah so let's get there and hopefully we'll be able to have a good experience over there and of course we'll share more when we get there So this tulip barn experience is actually quite commercial. Uh, so they have created a tulip field, which is not very large. However, they have placed a lot of different props, uh, like table and chairs, benches, uh, even a swing, a tractor, and a scooter, etc., which provide great fun opportunities for taking pictures. Um, and it might actually be fun if you are with kids because uh, they also have some kid friendly activities like they have a small play area which is quite fun for kids 
And they also have a small field, which is where I'm sitting um, in front of at the moment. And you can get some few sweeping view photo ops as well. Um, it's also not very expensive. It's only 750 euros per person uh, for adults and 250 euros for kids. And for kids under two, it's I think free of charge because they didn't charge anything for Pixie's entry. So I'd say yeah, it's a good activity, fun, family friendly place to come to. Um, and have a good time. And they also have a small cafe here with some nice outdoor picnic benches. So you can get some snacks and drinks here as well. This rounds up our exploration of the Dutch countryside. Thanks for watching and we hope this was fun and useful for you. As always, feel free to leave your thoughts and questions below. Until next time, take care.